What's cracking? What's cracking, guys? I know it's been a few days since I uploaded something to YouTube to feed y'all minds. Anywho, um, the reason why I'm doing this video because I'm constantly being asked, Mac Truck, how do you do it? Mac Truck, why do you do it? Mac Truck, like if I would have been in your shoes, I'd have been just gave up. And I'd be like, every time I always ask, what do you mean? How do I do what? They like, how do you deal with all the hate? All of the negative comments and all of the negative shit that comes your way and you still be going day to day about your business like it's nothing. And I always tell them, at the end of the day, I can't take none of that shit personal because don't nobody know me that's talking like that about me. Because anyone that talk bad about me, that knows me, they know that it'll um, elevate to something unnecessary. So that's why I don't let it get to me. Because the one thing I know is I'm so headstrong. I've been through so much in life. You know what I'm saying? My best teachers was my parents. Best teachers in the world. Growing up in a household where you don't feel welcome, where you don't get none of the attention, where all your siblings get to have birthday parties, cake, ice cream cakes and shit like that. Everybody get to do that. I got none of that. None of it. So I've developed thick skin early. You know, I got tired of asking why I can't. And every time it's, we ain't got no money. When I knew that was bullshit. Like, really? Keep in mind, this was so many years ago when drugs was at an all-time high. It was always money. It was always fucking money around there. It was always expensive cars, nice homes, and all this shit that we was living in. But when it came to me, it was never no money for me <laughs> that's why I'm always giving you know I give so much to those that I see helping themselves. you know what I'm saying like because I know how it is to to want something and you just can't get it and it's right there in your face so it kind of made me feel like the fuck's wrong with me like was I the accident baby you know what I'm saying but then as I got older I realized that it didn't even have nothing to do with me so I look at all the comments that I get negative as the same way because my parents didn't know me my dad in St. Louis Missouri that nigga don't know if I'm living or not you know my stepdad used the fuck out of me you know bought the nigga cars bikes shit like that and it was always oh you could do better that ain't good enough so I just learned to isolate myself mentally and always be true to me that's why I always tell my truth regardless if it's gonna upset anyone or not because at the end of the day if I can live with my decision and my choices that I make that's all that really matters you know and as long as I can continue making my kids happy keeping them happy proud of me the old lady if she could be happy with me that'd be great too but the uh, end of the day it's about making myself happy and I really enjoy putting these videos out and, you know, just communicating with people all over the world because I know I ain't the only motherfucker out here that be feeling a certain type of way that I feel and all of this. So how do I do it? I just do it, you know, because the one thing I know in life is everybody get their shot. Everybody. And right now is my time. It's been my time for a long time. 
You know, I have my ups and downs just like everybody else. Shit, I got dyslexia extremely bad, you know, and I had to train myself every day to make sure that my words and letters don't constantly flip around. So it's always a challenge for me, you know what I'm saying? But I don't let that shit get in the way of anything. Like, you know, a lot of y'all be like, oh, you stupid, you retarded. Man, I heard that shit all my life. And those that said that shit about me, look at me and look at them now. My teachers used to tell me I wasn't gonna be shit. They told me my future was the fucking cemetery, which all of our future is the cemetery. They said my future is the cemetery really early. Man, I'm 38 years old. That's a blessing. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I didn't even expect to even see fucking 18, 21, 24, 30. Like, I didn't expect to see none of that. That's why I live life the way I live life. I live life really freely and without no regrets, you know. Everything I do, I know it's a consequence behind it. And if I'm willing to deal with that consequence and still keep my head up after the fact, I'm going to do it. That's what I do in life. So, all right, now I'm about to go mail off some of this merchandise right now. I got to uh, send my boy... Leo, some shit in Canada. He wanted some tank tops that I got that ain't even out for anyone. Keep in mind, not even out. But Leo, he always got to get his shit first. So I had to put him a few tank tops. I had to go get him a few tank tops pressed up just so I could send to him because I just had them tank tops for a trial run. So I'm making sure that I <laughs> send some shit to him in Canada because I don't want his ass to have another fucking stroke, heart attack, or whatever the hell you doing. My boy out there stressing this shit. But, you know, that motherfucker keep on ticking. He die hard. That's what I'm saying. Like, we all going through some shit in life, man. We all are. But understand this, it ain't gonna ever get that bad, man, to where that you should count yourself out. I'm not gonna ever let nobody make me feel this big to where that I'm going to count myself out. I'm not counting myself out at all. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, um, it's all about how much you believe in yourself. And then, you can ask yourself, how do you do it? How are you doing it? I'm waking up every morning, every day blessed. And I make that day count. And I take full advantage of it. Because the one thing I know is we all got an appointment that we didn't make. And we cannot miss it. You know what I'm saying? All of us got an appointment that we didn't make. But we can't miss it. So everybody got a date when it's time to leave this place. So when you leave... You want to make sure that you leave with no regrets, happy, and accomplish what it is you want. Me, I'm building a legacy. I want my grandkids, grandkids to be proud of me. And as long as they got this YouTube, I'll forever live on. You know, but I got a lot of work to do right now. You know, I'm trying to be like Tom Plax in my 70s, still running around this motherfucker hitting heavy iron. Still getting it in, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get some of these little young whippersnappers an ass whooping in that gym. Test some ass up, okay? I know this, uh, this video is, might be a little bit too serious for a lot of you guys, but to some of you that was just looking for an answer and looking for an excuse to just give up and quit, go look at my documentary, man, To Live and Die in L.A., Maybe that might spark you to feel like if this motherfucker could do it, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? One thing in life, man, we all get a fair shot to do exactly what it is that the next person is doing. It's just some got longer obstacles. But ain't nobody successful got it overnight. No one. No one. You know, nobody can remember 
where a motherfucker was scraping on their knuckles trying to stand up. They're going to remember that this motherfucker is running and jogging up the block now. You know, so just, uh, man, grow some faith, man, and let's just throw some positivity out here, man, and just get it. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm out here trying to get it. So I'm about to go up in this post office. It's my second one. The one by my house was just entirely too freaking crowded. So I'm trying to accomplish this shit. Then I got to go to Target, get a new mop and toiletries and shit like that. I got to clean around the house. I'm washing laundry and shit right now and cleaning. Yes, Mac truck do wash laundry. Mac truck do fold, clean the best way that I can. I cook. I do all that, that shit because the one thing that my crazy ass mama did teach me is I'm going to teach you how to do this type of stuff to where you don't have to depend on a woman. And that's what I'm doing my kids the same way, which I got three daughters. And one, you know what I'm saying? So they actually know how to clean any down way, but they rebels. Anyway, man, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm about to get up out of here. I got some things to do. I'll holler at y'all later. Bah! Kick, kick, kick. Bow, bow, bow.